Hi everyone, Brett back out to two scale modeling with another Spur review. This time looking at this massive M1142 tactical firefighting vehicle. The hemped big old kit. You know, they had the red one of these. Now they've got the military one, which is far more attractive. There's, if you can read it over the glare. That light and see if this works. A little bit about it. 135th scale, brand new kit, copyright 2020. Comes with a die cut mast, three sets of PE. There's the scheme again. And of course, it's all glare because I'm tempting the plastic off. So let's do that. So that helps with the glare. Loud plastic. Okay. Yeah. Bang the camera right out of the way. There. Less glare. Alright. There, we saw my camera and everything. Hold on a second. Such a big kit, I have to have the camera at a different angle. Alright, so inside this massive box, let me get open. There we go. So, Inside the box, we've got a nice CAD workup of what you get, and cargo truck, which I've also gotten in, Soviet BTR 152V1 APC, which I've also gotten in, instructions, color callouts, tires, in this section are tires, decals, Masks, tires, wheels, clear parts. Here we have the uh, interior. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Oh, you know, about twenty sprues of plastic. And some more clear parts and some more PE. Move this out of the way. Let's get started right here. Bring it down in closer. Got the knife ready this time. Let's get started. You got three little metal bushings in here. I'm not sure what they're for, but we'll find out in the instructions. And the nice cab. Uh, it's got a little copyright information. I'm not sure how much you're going to see on the inside, but you need to clean up those ejector pins and that copyright information. Because if you can see in there, it's going to look bad. Other than that, Clean up these sprue attachment points, which are all over the place. A good riveting detail. I have four of these on order for the store. Three of them, one's mine, three of them are already sold, so I got more on order. So I'm hoping to get them in sooner rather than later. But right now, I'm sold out. So are both my distributors. All right. Starting with some drive parts, fifth wheel part, axles, smokestacks, radiator, very nice fan, so it's going to have some good engine detail. 
which as you guys know I like. All the sprue points, the ejector pin marks are underneath. This is bent, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be bent. But the way the sprue tabs are right there, I'm guessing it is supposed to be bent. So, turbocharger, exhaust stacks, axles, fifth wheel, all the drive parts, the fenders, there's the radiator detail, there's the fine fan detail. You can see no flash, no burring, good rivets on there. Good, good radiator detail. There is no burring on the axle parts. No hole, you can pick that up. But that's looking good. Here we have fuel tanks. Uh, the doors, transfer case, engine block, mirrors, it actually says, can you read that? It says Oshkosh, right there on the front end, so you'll be able to detail that up. Steering wheel, instrument panel, more instrument panel. Really good detail in the transfer case. Engine block is bare, but you're going to add lots of stuff to that. The doors have no ejector pin marks on them and detail on both sides. So, even the mirror is really finely detailed on both sides. So, start here. See a good detail, very delicate detail. Careful cutting that off. Steering wheel, engine block instrument panels fuel tank there's the one side the outside of the doors show the inside in a second flip it over there's a detail in the back of those mirrors and on some of those parts there's the detail on the inside of those doors so you can see they thoughtfully put all the ejector pin marks all along the outside or the ejector pins can't be a mark if you're a pin because these are marks nicely done and here looks like we have some stuff for the back end of the, the firefighting part of it So this one's a little bent, as you can see, but I don't think it's affected anything. And again, I think these are some of the boxes. This also says Oshkosh on it right here. I think these are some of the boxes you're going to have to put together, some generators. And again, a good level of detail in the front of all these. A real burring or flash. All the ejector pin marks are in the back. You can see no real burring on those round parts. And looking good all the way around on that. And this has got, looks like the ladders. Ladders, looks like the end of one of the hoses, some more very finely detailed or delicate parts. The ladders do have some, looks like a seam line running down it. Need a little cleanup, but again, they put all the ejector pins outside, so they're not on any of the parts. Uh, 
Excuse me a second, I gotta let a cat up. She wants to be nosy and sniff around. So anyway, another good storage box, a tank, either an air tank or an oil tank or good motors, but just when you're seeing Seeing these very delicate parts right here, use a lot of caution when cutting them off. There's a ladder, I don't know how we can see, but there's a seam line running the length of the ladders you're going to need to clean up. Actually, this box here, this side, and then there's detail on this side. So whatever it is, it either opens or it has detail on both sides. back here since the cat's out of the way. Cat's out of the bag, so to speak. This sprue is all wrapped up, so I imagine it's got even more delicate parts. So we're going to be careful with this one. We're actually going to put this one back in the bag when we're done. Okay. Lots of round, delicate handles. Looks like some suspension, some engine parts, another ladder. So, this is why this one's all wrapped up. You see all them tiny little delicate parts on there. Especially those handles. So, yeah, we're gonna put this one right back in here. And right back in here. This is mine, so eventually I'll be here getting around to building this one. Alright, lots and lots of stuff to look at. Sit back and have a cold one ready. Diamond plating. Some more boxes. Some more diamond plating. A little tiny detail in that vent. I'm sure some of these are the controls for the fire equipment water pumps and everything else so check out that detail in that little vent right there here here's the diamond plating very raised and sharp on all sides this is obviously slide molded because it's on three of the four sides so yeah very nice work in there you don't have to glue any of it together, it's all together. And the other side, again, some detail in some of these areas. Detail on both sides of there. Detail on all sides of these. Alrighty. This one has matching screws that look like Um, some more suspension and drive parts, so since they're matching screws, we only take one out. Get one we can get out. There we go. So yeah, some leaf springs. Again, with good detail, there's a seam on them though. Windshield wiper. Slapping out a tempo. Valve cover. Another axle. Looks like the back part of a seat and the bottom part of the seat. Yep. And I'm thinking these seats can be folded because there is detail under there and no ejector pin marks. So as I was saying about the leaf spring, there is a burr line on the top and there is a burr line on the spring part. It either won't be noticeable or you'll be simply have to clean it up because there is no burr line on the axle, funny enough. 
Look at the axle, and it's pretty well clean, which is nice. Could look and work on the valve cover, and there's a lot of detail in these springs. I mean, they look individual. You put a wash in there, and it's going to look like the individual pieces of metal. There's the back or the front of the back of the seat, the bottom and the underneath of the seat. Again, I'm not sure if these seats can be folded, but obviously since the doors are the way they are, the doors can be posed open or closed. And here we have, I'm guessing, sides for the box on the back, the back of the cab, part of the frame. We haven't seen much of the frame yet. Lots of ejector pin marks, so hopefully this won't be seen. No ejector pin marks here or here. I'm thinking that they planned this out well enough where because for this to have them and this not to have them that means they know this isn't going to be seen and this is because there's none here, none here, but there are here. There are four on here. Go on this side, none, 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 none on any of these sides. So I'm thinking they really thought this out well. More wonderful detail throughout. Good. So far, so good. We got a lot of this together, but I have not heard a complaint about Trumpeter's armor kits. Or kits like this in a long time. Again, matching sprues. These look like folded up hoses. Very nice touch. You paint those right, you put a wash in between them, there's some fire extinguishers. And these are like one piece. You don't have to glue them together. So check out the detail in those fire hoses. Both sides. Again, ejector pins are out of the way, not on them. You'll need to clean up. A little bit of a seam line across the top. A couple swipes with a good sanding stick. Take care of that easy or, you know, a good deburring tool. Then the rest of the parts. The fire extinguishers are actually one piece. And I'm trying to look close. I don't really see a seam line on either side of those fire extinguishers either. So they are taking good thoughts and how they're putting these into the molds and how they're getting them out of the molds. Let's look at this because this looks like it has a lot of chunky plastic in it, which I believe will be more of the firefighting box in back. And it is just heavy chunky squares of plastic, not much detail. Again, they had to think it out because inside of here, whatever this is, has detail in it and no ejector pin marks. Inside of here, there are ejector pin marks, but inside of these, there are no ejector pin marks. So I'm guessing you'll be able to see whatever's in those. And again, very nice, very square detail all around where it needs it obviously where it doesn't there isn't I'm just impressed where there are full of ejector pin marks in this one and there are none in any of these they're using their head whatever whoever's designing this stuff I found the frame Hopefully, square. Another couple doors. So, it looks square, but you might need a jig just to line everything up when you put it in. But again, this whole panel is full of controls. 
these doors, no ejector print marks on this side. This is like the floor of the cab, maybe. Some more parts for the back. Really good detailing on the frame. This side, ejector print marks here, here. None on the doors. They are here, here. All these do. Inside the frame rail? No. None. Inside the frame rail. No ejector pin marks. Inside the doors, looking good. Inside the frame rail, again, no ejector pin marks. Or on the outside of the frame rail, of course. And that side of the door, which I'm guessing this is the inside of the door and this is the outside of the door, because there's a window crank right there. There's that control panel. Okay, on that one, this one, we're almost done. Just regular sprues. Ah, uh, some more control boxes. Looks like, I would think control handles, maybe. Another instrument panel. Not sure what these are. And I'm not a firefighter expert. These are bent down, which of course to get them in the bag, but they're looking good. No burring around those round parts at all. Another axle. Again, no burring around the axle. No burring around these round parts. And then these parts. Another instrument panel. Nice and lovely detailed. Here we have another bag. Wrapped in foam, which we're going to keep safe. As safe as we can. Two sprues in here. Matching. So we're going to carefully look at one. Again. Bunch of delicate parts. This looks, actually looks like a wrench, like an adjustable wrench. A bunch of handles, doors with no ejector pins on either side. So I'm guessing you can pose these doors open. So you've got all this fine detail, those doors, detail on them, those tiny little fine grab handles. Like I said, this looks like an adjustable wrench to me. The other side of the doors. No ejector pin marks. No flash or burring on those fine parts. Let's see, let's look at one. Not that you could really tell, but there appears not to be any real flash or burring on there. So let me wrap these back up. Like this. Check them. Okay. Here looks this is the floor of the cab. Whatever I said was a floor of cab before obviously wasn't because this has a center console and driver's controls. And it's either a radio or a cap for filling something. So this is the floor of the cab. Very nicely molded. Very nicely detailed. I like it a lot. And we have this one. Which is... Well, if I had to say it, I'd say it was a trolley of some kind, and there's the wheels for it. Or, those are control wheels. Do not know, but I'm sure the instructions will tell us. Put that one right back in there. Here, we have four sprues of wheels. We just need one. 
four matching spurs of wheels. So, good luck detail. You'd have to change one of these tires. There's some more small here, so it looks like a cap. Toe hooks. Four of these for your wheels, your tires. These are your wheels. These are your tires. Tires which are trumpeter rubber tires. They're usually pretty good. Some people don't like them. Some people do like them. I like them. So if they got one, there's two, four, six, eight, nine. So I'm assuming they have a spare. No seam line. Well, maybe a seam line. They do say Michelin on them. M-I-C-H-E-L-I-N. They do have the size of the tire. It looks like, if you could read it, how much air pressure to put in. I think there is a seam line right here. But if you're like me, you're going to scuff them and rub them down anyway. So, flexible, hollow. I uh, obviously won't be able to put realistic weight on them unless you do screw them to a base or maybe heat them up and flatten them out. And I'm sure, as with everything else, there'll be some aftermarket resin wheels come out with weight on them. You have clear parts, which I'm not going to open because they're flat, they're clear. And, you know, they're flat and they're clear. Two sprues of clear, flat parts, which look very clear and very flat. You have decals and masks. Let's check these out. Masks are die cut. Decals. Not very many. You've got your lots of placards. A few of... I can't read that. National Guard. That's what it says. National Guard. Instrument panel decals. Put these back. And looks like last we have photo etch. One in here, one here, and one here. So we'll open this one carefully. Take it out. See how thick they are. They're covered in plastic, and it's your basic thick trumpeter PE. It is dated 2018 for these PE frets. The box art was dated 2020, but we know this basic kit's been out for a while. Here, you've got some more diamond plating, and it feels really good. This looks like some more boxes and some vents. All right, now to the instructions. Let's start with this: your color call out, which would also look good on the wall. Obviously, just one scheme. You've got Mr. Hobby, Accretion, Vallejo, Model Master, Tamia, and Humbrol color call outs. And then the names of the colors. So, you know, it's green. You're going to be able to weather it up nicely. Maybe fade a couple panels. But it's green. But it can make it look good. And there we go. Tactical firefighting truck. TFFT. And here... Sprue map, sprue map, and we start with the frame. All those parts with the frame, 
transfer case. You have to be very careful. There's some small parts on here. Look around. Mark what you're going to do. Get the frame together. Some of these things may need to be painted separate. Maybe not. I don't know. I have to check our online references. Then you go right into suspension. Massive drive wheels and suspension. Of course, this thing's got to go through anything to help put out fires in a war zone. Or just forest fires for that matter. Here, finishing up the drive wheels. And mounting the drive wheels to the axle. Now, again, with painting, you may want to wait on this, or you may want to do it now. I do not know. But we can find out. Then you start working on finishing the drive line. I think these are bracing bars, but I could be wrong. There goes your engine. You could detail that up nicely, depending on if you can see it or not, or just for the love of building engines like I do. Here is the engine going in my NASCAR kit I'm building. I detailed up a little bit. I didn't go too crazy on it, because it's not going to really be seen, but, you know, I did a little bit. And then you're putting the engine and all the other parts in there. Again, painting. Keep your mind while you're going to paint it. Fuel tank. Air tank. You start working on the fenders and all that goes around the fenders. This is a thick construction book. Then some of that PE is for the exhaust shrouds. Which you're definitely going to want to probably paint first. So if you paint them first, they may not roll very well, so you may have to paint them second before you put them on, though. Radiator. Wheels or tires. Definitely those are going last. All the boxes. The engine cover. There's the engine cover. The tanks. Showing more PE, so pay attention. Spare tire. Going on last, if you want. Start working on the interior of the cab, and it does have color callouts for flat black anyway. Cut, remove, file, sand. There's some more color callouts, decal, engine gray. A good highlight of what it's going to look like. Seats. Top of the cab going on. It's actually showing the number on there. So that may, no, it's 135th scale, that wouldn't actually be a... So yeah, I'd clean that up. Windows going in. Your die cut masks going on. Cab going on. Some more boxes going together. Front radiator cover. Then you start working on the firefighting equipment in the back. Your PE diamond plating. Some more firefighting equipment in the back, some more seats for the extra firefighters. There's no seat belts in this, I just realized that. So this is a crew compartment. That's what the other two doors were for. And finishing up, putting everything on. Again, are you going to paint this first and put it together, or put it together then paint it? Good question. Dry fit it and test it and figure it out. I would probably paint everything separate, put it together, and then put a final light mist coat over the top of it, but that's just me. This is why those boxes are open, because they're going to have toolbox in it, it's going to have tools in it, there's a, a saw, I didn't even notice, but there's a concrete saw, or a Jaws of Life type saw, there's how to put it together. So yeah, there are tools in there, there's a saw blade for your other saw, it's all going to sit in there. Nice touch, good detail. You got PE fan shrouds. Careful when you're folding them. Look at all that detail. Did I skip a page? Let me check. Nope. And then all your hoses. Many, many, many hoses going all on the top. And the ladders going along the side. Again, watch for your burring on those. More hoses going on in a different area. Doors going on.
and more hose stuff, more hose attachments, the ends of the hoses. Because obviously you just can grab them and pull them. And that's going on the back, so I don't think the hoses are the same color as the vehicle. So you have to pay attention and not paint. Again, painting could be an issue. There's the steps, PE. There's a closed mode and an open mode. There's some more PE being bent around for steps. And for covers, there's the ladder going on in the open mode, the ladder in the closed mode. You decide, depending on if you're doing diorama. There's that diamond PE being bent. And the final assembly. So, monster of a kit. I don't know if there was a part count on here. I didn't see one, but it's got to be a lot. So there you have it. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm not going to build it anytime soon, so I'm hoping one of you guys builds it and posts some videos of it. I love this box art. Here. There we go. It does say parts count. 770 plus. So let's see if we can zoom out and get a better look at this box art one more time. There you go. Check out that beautiful box art. Thanks for watching. Sit your ass at the bench and build a kit. If you can find one of these, because right now they're sold out everywhere, like I said. When I have more, I'll let people know. And get to building. Thanks for watching.